welcome back to another Gibbs adventure and today I want to talk about beaver caster a little bit so every beaver theoretically has a set of casters some are worth saving some are not generally the bigger the beaver the bigger the set of the casters that you'll get out of them and caster can be worth a lot of money to you so what you have to do is learn how to dry it properly and how to handle it properly and the number one thing with caster is to not over dry it or under dry it so it's a tight rope to walk for people that buy caster it's a very difficult thing to work with because it's always shrinking it's always losing moisture content and when somebody wants to buy 200 pounds of caster they don't want to have it shrink down to 180 pounds they want their 200 pounds of caster so they usually when you ship it uh, to auction there, there'd be a couple of different they used to handle it two different ways we're left with only one auction and they do a pretty well a standard deduction for for caster when it comes in they weigh it and then they take a certain amount of deduction off because they know it's going to shrink now the trick for the trapper to to make it work for them is is to understand how to handle it properly and how to get the most out of it so in front of me i have a pile of caster here and i'm going to grade it out for you so we kind of know what we have here caster is graded into three different groups ones twos and threes so you have good ordinaries or shells um the, of course everybody wants the number ones and i think they even make like a select western grade now because you get some really nice casters out of the west but uh the caster market right now is kind of a in a in a bit of a volatile state it was chugging along pretty good close to a hundred dollars a pound and now it recently uh what i've been quoted for for caster is in the 70 to 80 dollar range for for all in number num basically uh all in if you broke it down by by grade right now it's roughly 70 60 and 40 and i'll and i'll break these up here for you and i'll show you i'll show you what uh what is what so a number one caster which everybody wants to have is going to be big and it's going to be firm okay it's going to have a full caster in it that's a nice set of casters this one's not bad. Those are staying in your number ones. You're not, you don't want to have it covered with skin. You want to have it nice and brown color. Um, you don't want to have, when you take it, take it out of the beaver, you don't want to leave a, a bunch of skin on it. So those are number ones. That's, that's a number two. So it's a caster, but it's, there's not, nothing inside of it. It's basically soft. Another number two. And this would be like a number three. Yeah, these two would be like number three. So basically, there's casters, but they're small and there's nothing inside of them. Okay, they're just what we call a shell. Then ordinaries have a little bit of material inside, but not very much, and they're spongy. They're not very full. And your number ones, your select type stuff is going to be full, and it's going to have a lot of material inside. The people buying caster are after the material that's inside the shell of the caster. They're not after empty shells they're after something that has material inside it's like a yellow paste that's inside of a caster so i'll quickly go through this pile and decide what is what here so we're squeezing balls here here's a little bit of an example you see how kind of red this is that's because i left a bit of a membrane on it they don't want that really on the caster they want the caster to be clear like this one. So you don't want the red material left on it. Now the size necessarily doesn't, not necessarily mean that it's not good caster. A smaller beaver can still have good caster, but for the most part, a lot of times they're gonna be closer to shelves. Okay, so again, this one is, you know, basically soft and good to go. So here's, here's how it breaks down. So those are shells, the third grade. These are seconds and these are number ones. Now you can see from my paper towel here, I had taken them out of the freezer last night so I could thaw them out to grade them out here. But you see how the material is always leaking. And that's that shrinkage I'm talking about. Okay, so I've graded this all out. And... Uh, Basically, I got a set of scales right here. So the number ones are just shells. There's nothing inside. 
So three sets of those, 1.6 ounces. The number two are bigger, but there's a little bit of material in them, but there's not much. Okay. I have 9.3 ounces. And then my number ones are going to be fuller. They're going to be harder. There's going to be more material in them. And, you know, again, size is not always an accurate indicator. Of course, the bigger the beaver, usually the bigger the set of casters, but sometimes you can get number twos in a big beaver, which is disappointing. And we have 1.17. Okay, so that's how this breaks down. Now what my, okay, so if you, if you take the spread, you can see some moisture come out here. If you take the, uh, the spread of 70, 60, 40, so these are $40 casters, $60 casters, $70 casters by the, by the pound. So your $70 casters, take a pound divided by 16, gives you $4.37 a caster. I have $121.04 a caster here. In this pile, I had 9.3 ounces at 3.75, so I have $34.84 a caster. And then my shells, my number threes here, I had $4. I had 1.6 ounces, $4 worth of caster. Total, I have $159.91, and this is from 21 beaver, what what you're looking at here on the table. So 21 beaver gave me basically $160 worth of caster, just shy, just nine cents shy of $160 Canadian. So if you divide that by 21 beaver, basically it's working out for every beaver I caught, I'm getting $7 and 61 cents a caster. Now, if you're selling it to a private buyer, it's cash and dash. If you're sending it to auction, you might get a better price, but you have to calculate in the commission you're gonna lose or you're paying and the shrinkage that they add to it. And like I said, I'll tell you again, caster is a very hard commodity to work with because as you can see, I just took this stuff out of the freezer and you can see it's leaking. You're like, it's, it's, it is the type of beast that it is. Hard to work with. Always store it in a paper bag. As soon as I've done my demo, my little uh, demo here, my little presentation here, my video, I'm gonna put it back in the freezer again right away. But that's how it would break down. Now. To be honest, I, I have caught more beaver than 21 right now and, the, and my shells that I get, you know, like this is probably out of a, of a medium or a large medium beaver. I usually save those to make um, uh, caster lure for myself. So I should have a bit more shells, but I usually save my better set to sell into the market and I use my lower quality stuff to make my own lure which you know offsets the cost because if you're buying caster lure it's expensive so I make it up that way so basically from 21 beaver we're talking hundred and sixty dollars you know with the price of pelts right now so if you're so if I'm getting 760 uh, for a per set of caster extra it makes my my uh, twelve dollar or fourteen dollar beaver average closer to twenty one dollars so it helps out twenty dollars so it all helps but again caster you want to make sure you store it properly and you want to make sure that you don't over dry it and you don't under dry it because either way it, it, it causes an issue for everybody. I mean trappers only always want to make the most they can from it but the, the tip is you know a nice big set of caster here's an example I'll turn my scale on okay this is the nicest set of casters that I caught this year from a beaver so I had 5.8 ounces Let's do the calculation here if I can find my. Well. So, 5.8 times the price for number ones is 4.37 right now per ounce, equal to. So, this set of casters right here is worth 25 bucks. So, well worth it if you know what you're what you're looking for. Hard, firm good size so that's a $25 set of casters versus you know my worst set 
0.6 of an ounce, 0.6 times the price of number, number of shells, 2.50 per ounce. So this is a this is a dollar fifty, and this is, is twenty five bucks. So most of the stuff is going to land in between. Again, my pile is probably not representative of a normal catch because I always kind of watch what I'm doing and and I and I pull stuff out that it, that, that doesn't look good. I save my best to sell into the market because I I make the most money from it and I use a lot of this stuff myself. So. On average, you're probably going to end up with more number twos than you are number number ones. Your threes are going to come from your 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 uh, your mediums, your your large medium beavers, smalls and cubs. Basically, don't have very much, and you, you you get like you know they're almost the size of a quarter on each side, so there's not much you really get out of them. But caster is a very lucrative market. It's a very volatile market. It's been cruising along for it usually follows. The production of beaver so as the price numbers of beavers are are, uh, are trapped or drop the price of caster generally comes up but it always reaches a limit and then it drops back down again so right now we're kind of in an uncertain stage because the number twos last year didn't really sell into the market so it's got the market really this year in 2023 2022 23 it's got the market jittery it looks like right now is like what I said, 70, 60, even 40 is probably where somewhere where, where the market's going to end up. Who knows? It could it could do better than that. But if you're selling to a private uh, buyer right now, that's probably what you're looking at. You know, the 80 to 70 dollar range for the better stuff, and uh, 60 to 70 dollars for the the number twos, and and 40 40 bucks for for threes. Nobody really wants the the smaller stuff. There's nothing really in it for for the trade that that uh, that it goes to. Caster market. Is a very uh, secretive market, you know. I know that the better stuff goes into the perfume industry. Speaking, speaking of, relatively of, there's some used for medicine. There's some used for making uh, uh, liquors. There's some used sometimes to flavor, flavor cigarettes. But who knows? Really, you you can look it up in a hundred different places and get a hundred different answers. Nobody really tells you what's going on with it. But like I said, so. Caster, I'm done with it now for, for the demonstration. I'll throw a paper towel or two in the bottom of the bag. I just throw it all back in the bag here. Seal it up. Fold it up and then I store it. It goes right into the freezer right away and it'll stay there till I actually sell it. So there you are. 21 beaver, about a seven dollars and sixty cent average per beaver, is what I what I'm working on right now. So I'll take that any day. Again, I like to wear the gloves because uh, when it gets on your hands, it stays with you for a while. You can see the link, the leakage out of the caster from from uh, just taking it out of the freezer and leaving it on a piece of paper towel overnight. Hard product to work with. So guys get excited sometimes when they get docked uh, docked for shrinkage or whatever. You either have the shrinkage built right into the price when they're buying it up front, or if you're sending it to, to the auction, they're gonna they're gonna calculate the shrinkage that's gonna occur, and they're pretty well exactly right on. Wide wide range of how guys handle it, so it makes caster a, a, a product that's hard to work with. I used to call the May sales the the the, uh, the the mold and maggot sales because a lot of times by the time the caster got up to the auction house and the bags got opened and the stuff got weighed. The maggots were on it because there was meat left on them, or it was full of mold because they they were, they, they sent them up without properly uh, uh, shipping them. Don't put it in plastic, paper towels, cardboard box, paper bo uh, paper bags. That's what works. Plastic doesn't work. If you're afraid that it's going to leak on everything, throw in a, uh, uh, a paper towel or get yourself an absorbent towel and stick it inside. Put it inside a cardboard box, seal it up, and away it goes. Anyways, hopefully that helps you make a little bit more money from beaver because beaver market right now is pretty tough. And like I said, the, the caster market itself right now is a little bit volatile, but it's a product that, that you can hold in your freezer for a long time also. So if you're not satisfied with the price, you can throw it in your freezer. It, it goes up and down like every other thing in the fur trade. There, there's going to be peaks and valleys. Right now we're kind of hit a peak and we're, we're dropping back down. I don't know where it's exactly going to go, but... I don't see the production of beaver really jumping up to any great numbers, so I'm thinking it's going to stay basically where it is right now. Like I said, 70, 60, 40 
for the three different grades. So if you if you uh, can pass it off somewhere and get cash, that's how I, I like. I've sold my caster probably for at least the last 10 or 12 years into, into the market like that. Previous to that, I used to save it. And then when, when I was told that the market was good, I would pull it out of my freezer. And sometimes I would hold it for two or three years, up to five years, and then I would sell it all at once and away we would go. So lots of ways to do it, but that's, that's the way to handle casters. You get the caster out of the beaver, you hang it up for maximum of four days until it's hard. The outside is hard, not solid, but hard. Put it in the freezer. Before you ship it, take it out because it's going to pick up a bit of moisture. Put it on a couple pieces of paper towel. When you ship it, you put it inside of a cardboard box with some paper towels or, or a bag with paper towels and away it goes. So thanks a lot. Hopefully you enjoy this one. Take care.